Welcome to Langkawi guys. We're here for the next few days. Um, we've arrived and we've come out to the Maha Tower. Maha means the Almighty and it's just an icon of Langkawi. It's very pretty. Um, yeah, look forward to seeing it lit up at night time as well. We've hired a car for the four days that we're here. It only costs $22 a day to hire this car. So that's about 63 ringgit. What a bargain. Cannot get around much cheaper than that unless you want to hire a scooter, which we're not keen on. Um, so yeah, looking forward to exploring Langkawi and seeing all it has to offer. Beautiful view from here, guys. I'm not just talking about my husband. I was wondering if this store was inspired by Michael Jackson. The hee hee. Now we've just come about 10 minutes further down the road to Eagle Square, where you find a large statue of the red-backed eagle, which is the symbol of Langkawi. We've just come back to the resort and checking in. And we're getting a little buggy ride <laughs> to our room with our bags. There's a pool over there. That's the chlorine pool. We're staying near the saltwater pool. Oh, it looks pretty. right to the front door and this is our beachfront bungalow which we paid a little bit extra for we upgraded upon arrival for an extra 400 Australian dollars, 400 Australian dollars. that's over four nights oh, so 300 okay. ringgit per night um, we've got this lovely roomy bed got a little lounge area Air conditioner, ceiling fan, always welcome. TV, little desk area. And then we've got a wardrobe area. Looks like there's plenty of cupboard space and I'm assuming there's a bathroom. Da, da, da. And a bathroom with a bathtub. And an outdoor shower. Woohoo! That's a bit fancy. You too can shower with the sound of birds in your own private garden. This is the view from our front balcony of our beach front villa. We've got some lovely little lounge chairs there that we can go and utilize. We've got the nice beach front just a few short steps away. It does look a little bit choppy um, and there is a uh, jelly fish net so if you swim inside that then you're pretty safe they said. Um, so yeah that looks quite nice. And you've got um, a nice ocean view swimming pool here that we can use as well, which is the um, salt water one. So yeah, we'll be able to um, use that, which will be quite nice. Yeah, very pretty. 
pretty. We're staying at the Frangipani Resort and Spa, which is on Pantai Chenang. Well, close enough to anyway. So I'm just down the beach a little bit from Pantai Chenang. So, very nice. It's tough. It's tough. Very tough. the Coco Jam Seaside Bar, um, witnessing a beautiful sunset here on our first night in Langkawi. And it is happy hour time. We've just ordered a couple of cocktails. We've got um, a couple of Blue Hawaii's and happy hour cocktails from 8, 5 to 8 p.m. here at the French Japan Langkawi. Uh, only 18 ringgit, which is only six Australian dollars. And even at full price, Pete said the most expensive cocktail on the menu for 25 it was the pina colada. So that is so cheap. That's less than $10 for a cocktail. Amazing value. We will be ordering some food as well, and it's decent prices. So yeah, highly recommend. the other pools at the resort which are the chlorine uh, pools the one near our ho near our room is the saltwater pool but these are the um, chlorine pools and um, yeah they look very nice We've decided to come up to the Sky Bridge today, which is a massive attraction here in Langkawi. It's probably the number one attraction. Um, we're going to be going up in the Sky Cab and we will pay for access to the, the Sky Bridge as well. And there's other things to see and do here in this area. So um, we'll let you guys know how much it is once we find out how much the tickets are. There's this whole Oriental Village area that you walk through as you're going towards the cable car. Um, it's not quite open yet, but um, yeah, later in the day there's lots of places to eat, souvenir shops, and it's got a quite cute little vibe. Um, if you want to bypass this, you can get the little London bus, which is at the front gate, and I think it was um, 10 ringgit both ways um, to take you directly to the Skycap. We've just um, come up to the first viewpoint on the cable car. It is the longest span cable car in Malaysia apparently. Um, took about 10 minutes probably to get up to here. We bought the combo ticket which was 178 ringgit or about 56 Australian dollars. And that enables us to go in the Sky Cab return plus the Skywalk, um, something called Sky Rex which is some 4D thing. 
and also the 3D museum if we want to go and have a look at that a bit later. Um, so yeah, we're going to enjoy the views up here for a bit and then continue on. We've made it to the sky bridge. We were actually um, higher up where the observation decks are, so we were looking down. And then it was about a 10 minute walk down some quite steep stairs. Um, and we've made it to the sky bridge, which is that way. So just some little facts for you. This is the considered to be the birthplace of Malaysia. And these rock formations are the oldest in Southeast Asia, apparently. And the largest geo rock formations that are made from sandstone. That's what I was reading. The skybridge was completed in 2004, it's 650 metres above sea level, 125 metres long and has the, is the longest curved hanging bridge in the world. And the sky cab was opened in August, sorry, opened in November 2002, it took 16 months to complete. At 42 degrees it is the steepest in the world and at 950 metres it is the longest free span. 1,233 passengers per hour and is a 2.2 kilometre one-way trip. So guys, we walked all the way down from the observation tower to the sky bridge. However, on the way back, we're going to get this little sky glide up. It is 10 ringgit per person. However, Pete got one for free because the lady decided she wanted to walk up instead. Um, so he shouted me the 10 ringgit to go back up, which is nice. out there so you'll be given a pair of goggles. Put these on only when seated and keep them on throughout the tour. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times and refrain from using your mobile phones and any other personal handout device. When exiting the vehicle please ensure you take all your belongings with you and magnitude 4.4 threat level remains low. 
As part of our combo ticket, we had entry into this Skyrex attraction, which is a 4D cinema attraction about dinosaurs. You hop in a car, you feel like you're in Jurassic Park. It's pretty awesome. You put the 3D goggles on and the whole thing's moving and rattling and there's dinosaurs coming at your face and you're rolling over in the car. It was very cool. <laughs> We've uh, finished up our time here at um, the Oriental Village and Sky Park. Um, great fun, good value for money, and we've spent nearly three hours here doing all of the activities. So plenty more you could do. We did have entry to the 3D Museum, but we're not doing that today. We've continued on from the um, Skybridge area, and because we've got a car, we've just driven a little ways through to Sandy Skulls Beach. Um, I think we might just have a quick dip and a bit of a cool off. I don't know that there's anything to eat and drink here, but um, yeah, if it's a nice beach, we'll have a little dip. I can hear some people. Like much of Langkawi, it's quite um, underdeveloped. We didn't even have to pay for parking. And it's a tiny little beach. And this goes beef. Thailand. About another 25 minutes down the road. We're on our way to Tanjung Ru Beach, which is supposed to be very lovely as well. And we've just stopped along at the Scarborough Fish and Chip Shop for some lunch, which looks very nice. Um, we wanted two plates of fish and chips. The barramundi and chips is 35 ringgit, so about $11, and a couple of drinks at five ringgit each. So not the cheapest of lunches for us, um, but 80 ringgit still less than $25 for lunch, so yeah, fine. If you want to come down to a really pretty part of Langkawi um, and you've got some wheels, come down to Ta Tanjungru Beach, I think that's right. I'll correct it if it's wrong. Um, really pretty, beautiful beach. Uh, nothing like this in Phuket. Maybe similar to Koh Samui or Krabi areas, but um, yeah, really stunning. We've decided to go on one of the ever popular island hopper tours today. So this is the Lake of the Pregnant Maiden. Wow. Um, we don't have much on the agenda today, so we've decided to come on down to the Laman Paddy Rice Fields. 